kindness make you the most beautiful person in the world no matter what you look like with this kind thought this is miss anupama welcoming you all on miss anupama's channel my dear friends and students welcome back and today in this session we are going to learn about english okay english textbook that is english bal bharati standard 4th lesson number 7 actually it is not a lesson it is like an activity base okay it's a activity base topic given to you and here a character called isha okay and uh, her conversation between her family members okay you have to just look at the pictures and your imagination and your creativity and uh, that you are going to show in this uh, topic okay so subject english page number 14 and 15 of your english bal bharati and the seventh lesson seventh topic okay be a writer part 1 be a writer part 1 okay you have to be a writer okay so what isha said what isha said certain like uh, six pictures are given you have to look at each picture carefully and you have to use your imagination your creativity your innovative things you have to observe each picture and you have to write down so what we are going to do in this session we are i'm going to discuss you now uh, discuss with you just now discuss look at the pictures given on page 14 and 15 of the textbook okay of your bal bharati textbook first thing is that the second thing discuss the conversation what is conversation conversation means a talk between two people okay uh, in conversation mostly two or more than two people will be involved one people will not have any conversation okay so discuss the conversations as well as the story that you have to write down you have to first you have to observe you have to observe the pictures given there are i told you there are all together six pictures are given okay on page number 14 and 15 you have to observe it carefully use your imagination use your creativity and you have to write down the story you have to build up the story over there okay my dear friends and students chalo then let's get going okay guys shall we start our topic yes now today's topic that is uh, lesson number 7 be a writer part 1 what isha said here my dear children what you have to do is you have to use your own imagination okay students you have to use your own imagination and experience for this activity okay you have to use your uh, means each one has to use your original ideas okay different and original ideas to do this activity it is actually an activity based topic okay now see here okay the following pictures okay here certain following uh, pictures are given that is six pictures are given to you the following pictures show a day in isha's life so here isha is a main character of this activity okay so isha's life look at the pictures carefully you have to look at each picture very carefully using your imagination imagination means uh like uh, kalpana apni kalpana use karne ka okay using your imagination guess what isha must have said you have to guess okay you have to guess or you have to imagine okay you have to imagine what isha must have said or will say on each occasion then write the complete conversation in your notebook as i told you conversation means a talk between two people okay so shall we start with the first picture okay yeah yes my dear students now you can see this look at this first picture okay here the first picture that isha is sitting on her dining table and mama is saying something to her now you can see there is a watch also given to you for your better understanding okay this is the picture one look at this picture carefully now this is in the watch what's the time the time is morning 6:30 a.m 
morning morning hours till 12 o'clock we called it as am okay and 12 o'clock noon then after 12 okay it uh, pm starts okay so morning uh, 6 30 am now what conversation was going between mother and isha now mommy says that hurry up ah you will be or you will be late hurry up or you will be late. Mother said to Isha. Now what answer must Isha has given to her mother? Just we'll see. Mommy, can I go back to bed? I'm still so sleepy. Okay, this is the answer given by Isha. Maybe in the place of Isha, if you are there, must be you also have given the same answer to your mother. Okay, early in the morning. Okay, mostly sun, uh, after weekends, Monday. You don't like to go to school. And what you give the answer to your mother? The same thing what Isha has given here. Mommy, can I go back to bed? I'm still so sleepy. So Isha have given the answer that, Mama, I wanted to go to bed. I'm still so sleepy. Okay, this is the first picture, my dear students. Okay, now here... The Isha, okay, in the place of Isha, you keep yourself and you imagine what answer you must have given to your mother or what answer you are going to give to your mother. That answer you have to imagine and you have to write your own uh, original idea, okay? Got it? Yes, now we'll go through with the second picture. Now, this is also morning time. Watch is given here. So, in the watch, it is 9 o'clock. Okay, can you see? It's morning time, a.m., 9 a.m. Now, here, maybe this is the uh, classroom scene. Okay, classroom scene. Now, here, first scene is Isha's house. Okay, on the dining table. Now, second picture. In the second picture, the things are going in the classroom okay maybe the isha and her friend okay i gave this friend's name as anu you can give any name of your choice okay so here i think you must anu anu is telling that i think you must tell the teacher about it now to whom she is telling now she is the anu and anu is telling to isha isha Look, Anu, my English notebook has got torn. I don't know how. Okay, now she's very upset. Okay, maybe it is an English serial blue book and uh, maybe the English teacher is going to check the notebook and all of a sudden without knowing uh, uh, it to Isha, her book was torn. So how it happened, she also don't know. But her friend is giving a good advice to Isha that Isha, you must tell this thing to the teacher okay got it my dear students now chalo we'll begin with the third picture okay guys now third picture look at this picture carefully now here maybe this uh, scene is going in the classroom okay isha's classroom teacher and her friends are there now what uh, question or what conversation was going between the teacher and the students okay we'll see that that's not the right answer Nikhil, who said? Teacher said. Can you see here? Teacher said to Nikhil. Now, this boy name is Nikhil. Okay, maybe uh, this is a fourth standard classroom only. Okay, imagine. Okay, you imagine that this is a classroom only. Okay, so here Nikhil has given some, uh, maybe uh, Miss has asked, uh, teacher has asked some question to the students and Nikhil um, uh, had given a wrong answer and then what Isha said, now this is the morning 10 a.m. Okay, you can see watch. Okay, here also watch and that morning timing it is 10 o'clock in the watch. So Isha, Isha said to teacher, I know it. The answer is 150. Maybe the, uh, like uh, max class was going on and the teacher asked 75 plus 75 how much. Then Nikhil maybe he had given 145 answer. Okay, something wrong answer he gave. Then Isha said that, I know it, the answer is 150. Okay, any answer, any conversation you can write, you have to use your imagination, your own imagination, my dear students and friends. Okay, and it should be different and you should have your own ideas to write because you are going to become a 
good writer okay yeah now we'll see the fourth picture okay guys now we'll just look at the uh, picture four okay uh, then it is an evening time okay evening time what is the time in the watch it is eight o'clock okay so 8 p.m evening 8 p.m okay now fourth picture we are going to uh, see and we are going to imagine okay now here maybe the uh, 8 o'clock it's a relaxation time so Isha and uh, her granny uh, are sitting on the sofa and watching uh, TV okay means watching television now what granny must have told Isha will see granny why do you like the program so much granny is asking to Isha you can see the arrows here this arrows means this person is speaking, okay? So, granny is talking or she is asking question to Isha. Why do you like the program so much? Granny said to Isha. Now, what answer? And I gave you these answers here, but you can imagine your own answers there, my dear students. Okay, you keep yourself in the place of Isha and use your imagination to give your own answer. Okay, so here Isha... She must have given this answer to her granny that, Granny, let's watch Disney cartoon, please, Granny. Okay, now when uh, uh, granddaughter or grandchildren, they request grandparents, no, they feel very touchy. Okay, they become emotional. And um, grandparents and grandchildren, they have an emotional attachment. Okay, so what Isha said, Granny, let's watch Disney cartoon. Okay, please granny. Then maybe granny said, okay, Isha, shall together we'll watch and we'll enjoy. Okay, got it? The fourth picture. Now we'll start with the fifth picture. Now here uh, in the clock you can see almost it is 8.30. Okay, so 8.30 a.m. Got it? Uh, okay, friends, now look at the fifth picture now it's a uh, evening time okay in the watch you can see it is almost 8 30 okay 8 30 p.m so fifth picture evening time 8 30 p.m now here this is a family get together is going on okay the dinner time and um, isha isha's mama isha's papa and isha's granny okay means that means all together four members are there in isha's family now they uh, we're having uh, what they're having they're having the dinner okay it's a dinner time 8 30 almost i also have all my dinner at 8 30 only so here now you can see isha's daddy okay isha's daddy and uh, uh, isha they're having both of them are having conversation okay now what isha's father or isha dad said to isha we'll see you must eat everything that's on your plate, okay? That is on your plate. Whatever is given to you, you have to eat it. So what reply Isha gave to her dad, we see. Isha, but why dad? I don't like carrots or I don't like cabbage. I shall not eat it. So this reply she gave to her father. Now it's very rude, no? It is not good, my dear students. Whatever is given... Uh, by your mother in your plate you have to eat it okay because all the things what mother thinks are very good nutritious for you for your health that only mother serves to you okay so without any complaints everything you have to eat and it's a very good quality or good habit of the uh, small uh, students or kids that whatever things mother gives okay whatever dishes she prepares for you uh, everything is very important for your health, okay? So, proper diet you should have. So, carrots are good. Cabbage is also good, okay? Like a, a salad you can use, but never said no to anything, okay? So, always respect and value whatever is given to you to eat, okay? Dinner time, lunch time, breakfast, whatever is given, please you have to have it, okay? Don't complain about that, okay? That this is not my favorite and I don't like to eat, these things you should not do, okay? You are the luckiest that you are having so great parents and um, mama takes care of you and everything, okay? So, never uh, complain about the food to 
your parents. Okay, whatever is given, please eat it. Now we'll see the sixth and the last picture. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now the last picture as seen, we can see of this activity. Now the sixth picture. Now look at this watch. It is night time and 9.30. Okay, 9.30 p.m. Okay, what's the time? 9.30 p.m. Now this is a bedtime. Okay, now Isha went to sleep and something uh, is going on between her mother and Isha. Now what, what mother is saying to Isha and what Isha said to her, just we'll see. But you have heard that story before Isha who said mama. Okay, mommy said. Isha's mommy said to Isha that you had um, you had heard the story before Isha. Okay. So Isha said, Mommy, tell me the story of Red Riding Horn. Okay. Red Riding Hood. Okay. So Mommy, Isha said to Mommy, Mommy, please tell me the story of Red Riding Hood. This is the story. And what Mama said, Isha, you had heard that story before also, but she said, no, I wanted to listen. So Mama started saying the story to her. Maybe this is the thing. So every day it is her routine, I think. So So before um, listening to mother's story, she will not sleep. Okay, now here. So understood, my dear students, all the six pictures, the scenes between uh, and the conversation between Isha and her family members in the school with the teacher and her friends. Okay, it's a simple. Okay, just you have to. Uh, clearly properly observe the picture imagine and you can write your original ideas of between the conversation between the Isha and the other member okay now here some uh, activity is given to you okay like it's like homework type okay assignment is given to you choosing any one of these events in Isha's life right write it in the form of a very short story now here six six events are given to you okay so by choosing any one of your choice you have to write down a short story type okay very short story based on uh, any one of this event use the points given below when you write the story points are also given to you you can use these points to build up your short story the first one, when did it happen? Like here, how the watch are given in the time is mentioned. So that also you have to start from that. When did it happen? Where did it happen? Where? Maybe in the uh, uh, dining hall or in the classroom or on the dining table or some bedroom, wherever. Okay. It depends on the event which you are going to choose to write down the short story. Where did it happen? Who were the people present there? Mother, father, granny, or Isha's teacher, or Isha's friend. It depends on you. What did each person say? Okay, conversation between two people, Isha and if you select, it depends on your choice. Okay, then what did each uh, person say? How did they say it? Happily, sadly, patiently? etc okay these are the feelings okay like how each one of them said okay now here in the first and second picture isha was sad okay so isha was very sad now when she was watching cartoon with the granny she was very happy okay like that okay that incident that uh, thing you have to describe there what did isha and other people feel on that occasion what isha and the other person to whom you are selecting, what event you are selecting, it depends on you. What feelings um, of other person, other people uh, was there on that occasion? Why did a person do, say, feel what he or she did? Okay, these are the certain points. Okay, seven points are given. Use these points and you can build up your short story by selecting any one of this event okay got it my dear friends and students Chalo. thank you so this is an activity based so i told you that this uh, uh, topic is not having any question and answers and that stuff okay so thank you for watching all my videos please do watch the videos till the end okay 
so please do like share subscribe and tap the bell icon so that you'll get the notification of my upcoming videos so keep reading and keep learning stay at home and keep smiling thank you so much